Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this OVIS mini PC with Windows 10 Pro, 8GB of RAM, 120GB of ROM, M2 SSD, it's a J4125 CPU, so it can be even upgraded to Windows 11. A lot of people are using such devices uh, as streaming device for the TV or network storage or those things. But this device can easily be used as a desktop replacement because it's the 4000 series, not the 3000 series, and it's the J and it's not the N, so it's much more capable than all these N3000 series uh, mini PCs. So you have confirmation, 128 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes of ROM. So let's see what we get. So here you are, nicely packaged. By the way, I have already tested a uh, similar device from this brand. It was an N3000 series and it has been performing already really good, but this is the higher spec, so I'm definitely expecting even more performance from this. Looks really good. What we get, get the LAN two times HDMI. We even have a VGA, so we have three possibilities to attach monitor, one gigabits of LAN, headphone, USB, I think we have two times USB-A with uh, 2.0 and two times USB-A 3.0 on off, looks really good. We have a lot of cooling, that also works really good when we have a lot of cooling. Then we get this mounting plate, maybe for a TV, even some extra screws. Then we get an HDMI full size, I think HDMI cable and then the power adapter. So I have here everything ready to go. So let's turn it on and see how we can set up the Windows 10. As you can see, everything is already ready to set up. What I recommend is to skip the network connection and wait till we have the full uh, desktop screen visible and only then connect to the Wi-Fi. So now the system is ready to be used after all the updates. We can see the Windows 10 Pro confirmation. So I go a little bit closer here. So again, Windows 10 Pro. We also get confirmation about the 8 gigabytes of RAM and the storage we have still available. I mean, I have installed the Chrome browser and I've installed OpenOffice, many tools, and we can still see uh, that we have 93.8 gigabytes free of out of 119 gigabytes. And here the first performance test in the browser, you can see how capable this really is. I've opened here Google Chrome with seven open tabs and you can see, I mean the first thing is important that it doesn't have to reload. You can see everything is already ready and when we uh, scroll down you can see there's absolutely no wait, no lags. We can go to next tab, to same thing here, same thing. Even these are really large pages, there's absolutely no problem doing that and here I have even opened my YouTube channel and as you can see I've selected a 4k video and I can easily play it nice and smoothly absolutely no problem no lags uh, really wonderful nicely playing and here we are on Google Maps 3d yeah Paris Eiffel Tower and you can see how nicely we can zoom in and zoom out and move around uh, yeah almost no lags really really nice for such a PC uh, with a Celeron yeah one of the best performances I've ever seen and here we can even see some decent 3D gaming action you can see absolutely no lag so with many of the Celerons uh, it can be quite a challenge to play this and here it's nice and smooth and absolutely no lags as you can see I can't move around I can even jump down from the tower as you can see really fast absolutely no problem and now also some office test you can see how fast we can open a document so this is definitely easily working as a desktop replacement and as you can hear there's almost nothing to hear from the fan there's barely anything noticeable I mean we can hear that it's running but it's definitely not bothering me here even on the desktop and when you have it below the desktop uh, there's barely anything to hear so here we are also on the window update and you can see I've done all the updates everything here 
and we can even check here on the Microsoft update uh, if this PC is capable of being upgraded to Windows 11 it says this PC meets Windows 11 requirements so you can easily upgrade to Windows 11 so everything is perfect I haven't found any problems so far very capable uh, doesn't even get very hot I mean it gets a little bit warm but definitely no overheating so the ventilation is powerful enough but still not loud so it is as good as it gets I would say with the Celeron definitely the best Celeron which I have ever tested so far so I can give you full recommendation and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and do it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time